Hey guys, welcome back to HVAC Tool Review. Today we are gonna be looking at this fluke. So this is a complete airflow kit. There is the option to just buy the meter with the hoses. There's also the option to buy this kit, which comes with an actual hard case instead of a soft case. I think it's about 100 bucks more, maybe 150 bucks more. Protects it well. That also includes the meter itself. It's 12 inch pedo tube. Uh, the airflow hoses that are color coded with the clip with the magnet just clips on in nice and easy there holds it nice and secure then you've got the magnet to hang it up wherever you need to set this thing also comes with this strap here if you wanted to strap that on this little rubber housing comes off so you can get to the battery compartment just provide some protection for your tool this thing runs on four AA batteries i believe this is a airflow meter kit micro manometer so this thing is actually three tools in one standard manometer, which is your air pressure, air velocity, and your airflow readings. So this is able to calculate those airflow readings out by doing tr duct traverses with this pitot tube. So if you're not familiar with duct traverses, um, you need a pitot tube to be able to do something like that. Pitot tube is similar to like an air pickup, but with a pitot tube, you've got a hole on the end of it, which is measuring the airflow or the velocity coming in, and then you've got your you got your holes here that are measuring the static pressure of the duct. Uh, so one of those will be connected to the high pressure, one will be connected to the low pressure on the tool here, which then you are able to enter in all of your information so that you can actually calculate air velocity in CFM, feet per minute. I think it also does cubic meters. It does a couple, couple other ones in there that I don't ever use because we just use CFM. Um, so if you're using this on on like a VAV or something like that. They've got, they've most of the time, they've either got a pitot tube that's installed or they use a flow ring. So if you're gonna be throwing this on to something that's gonna calculate out a flow ring, all those flow rings have a different uh, correction factor or the K factor that you'd have to enter in and know that. It's gonna read a little bit differently than your pitot tube would. So this is really the most accurate way to do a timed traverse through the duct and get readings from one side all the way across through the middle to the other side of the duct. So when you turn it on, you gotta zero it out every time you're gonna be using it. Throw the backlight on so you can see that it's it's reading some differential pressure there. And the nice thing is that this is sensitive all the way down to the thousand inches of water column. So a lot more sensitive than a traditional manometer that you're gonna be using. It actually reads temperature, so that's gonna take effect on some of your airflow readings so this is able to compute all of that right off of this single unit so when you power this on you are able to zero there hold it and then it should zero so now we are zeroed um, so that's if you're reading pressure you're able to scroll over to the other side start reading velocity you can see that this thing is pretty sensitive it actually just picks up any movement or me blowing on it um, it'll it'll sense that there then we're going through with your flow volume. Uh, this one allows you to select, I'll get a little closer there. You can see it lets you select between the duct shape, which is either round or square. And select that there. And then it lets you select between your duct size in inches from zero. And it goes all the way up to 250 inches, which is the diameter. So pretty versatile there with a with a bunch of different specs to be able to measure out your ducts. So say if you put five inch there, select that. So you can see now we're reading in CFM there. As you blow on it, it's it's extremely sensitive. So able to give you some nice accurate accurate readings for those duct traverses. So yeah, like I was saying, having the ability to have user defined duct shape and size. Um, allows you to get maximum airflow accuracy and then just the ability to measure between whatever you're trying to determine if you're trying to determine pressure drop across components in your system like a coil uh, measure across filters if you're working on anything with an airflow sensor that's actually given like a digital readout to a building automation system you're able to take actual readings with this compare it to your flow sensor uh, determine if that thing is faulty if it needs to be recalibrated if someone didn't program in the K factor right for a flow ring. So 
This is an extremely valuable tool for any HVAC technician. You're able to do all that with one tool here. Um, like I said, you can do pressure, velocity, and airflow. You're able to measure your ventilation compared to the loads that you need for, for that occupancy. And this is also able to calculate CFM readings from zero to 99,999. You're able to use this thing reliably between 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 122 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius. So that's just something to keep in mind. You're gonna to wanna to only be using this in the operating conditions that it was designed for. So I mean, this thing isn't waterproof, but it's a fluke, so you know it's gonna hold up to some wear and abuse. They're made to be used. The battery on it is rated to 280 hours with the backlight off up to 60 hours of continuous use with the backlight on, which is pretty good. So it's. It's, it's a handy little tool. Uh, another nice feature is this is able to store 99 samples in each of its three modes. Uh, it's able to do min, max, and average for those modes as well. It's an expense up front. It's not a terribly expensive tool, but it's not a cheap tool either. It's a lot cheaper than buying a complete flow hood set. So if you're gonna be going through and need to troubleshooting airflow calculations, this is a pitot tube with the duct reverse is a very accurate way to get measurements like that. Without having to spend all the money on an airflow hood, this will this will get you in the ballpark. If you're in the market for an airflow kit, I would definitely check out the Fluke 922. Just picked up one of these Fluke 510s. This is a digital manometer. Supposedly, it does a lot of the same calculations that this one does with with the software in the Fluke Connect or not the Fluke Connect, the Testo Connect app. So it should work with the Pito tube as well. So I'm gonna give that a shot. We'll do some comparisons with the Fluke 922 and make sure that we're getting accurate readings between the two of them. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these reviews coming up. I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. If you're interested in, in purchasing any of these tools yourself, take a look down in the description. I'll have all this stuff linked. Um, check out the full blog post for a little bit more in depth. And yeah, I appreciate you guys.